cancer, he knows better that camel mixed, uh, camel milk uh, mixed with urine. Me, I remember you telling me this in uh, Kano. Yes. Uh, so, a friend of mine mm. who was a chemistry teacher, one of the best teachers in Jeddah, I knew him for about 10, maybe 12 years. We used to teach together. I happened to bump into about three, four years ago. So I met the brother and he looked different. You know, now he's bearded and he looks practicing, not as before. Yeah. So I said, how are you? Have you been? It's been like 10 years I haven't seen you. He said, well, I unfortunately developed intestine cancer. I was shocked, subhanAllah. Mm -hmm. And he said that they extracted a portion of it mm -hmm. surgically and the doctor said that there's no hope for you. You're gone. Mm -hmm. So I was sick, I was devastated. And then I got hold of a research by a professor in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. who teaches in, at the university I think in the pharmaceutical college, I don't know what they call it. And her name is Dr. Fatin Khorshid. And I, he said, I contacted her and she gave me dosages of milk mixed with urine of camels. So I took this and for about five months on daily basis and then went and checked with my same doctor who was shocked. And he said, this is impossible. It is all gone, totally disappeared. And he said that this was three, four years ago. And Alhamdulillah, look at me. And I said, SubhanAllah. So I aired this story and I got like bombarded with emails from everywhere asking me how to do that. What are the dosages? And I said, I don't know, I'm not an expert. So I had to call the brother again and he told me about it. Mm. And it is very simple. The mm. first three, four days, you take a mug of camel's milk mm. only, because this would disturb your stomach for the first couple of days mm. until you get used to it. And the funny thing is one of the sisters who called and asking me about it. And I said to her for the first four days or so, take only a mug of camel's milk, she said, Female or male? And I said, whoa, <laughs> uh, you think a bit before you speak. I said, I said, I never knew that male camels have milk. So no, 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 so, I'm sorry, 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 my, my bad. So it happens, it happens. It's the old joke of what the cows drink. And yeah. Everyone says milk. <laughs> yes. So. Then, after the third or fourth day, mm. you add one small teaspoon of camel's urine. Okay. And this you can ask whether it's female or a male, but I have no idea. I think there's no difference, inshallah. The second day, you add two spoons uh, of tea, small in the mug, of, in, in the mug yeah. itself, and drink it. The third day, you add three Sp uh, small spoons of tea of of urine mm. in it and that is it continue on this three spoons uh the the to the rest of the time so it's, very, it's just very little uh, yes it's, and it's it, it, like it would not even you would not find that the taste is so uh, offensive mm. and, and i ask him is it offensive the taste is it in the beginning maybe it's the thought. It's more the, the thought, thought of, of, of you drinking. Urine. The thing is, most of these uh, medications you get from the pharmacy, they've got all sorts of you, things, things you don't know. Things you don't yes. like creatures, yes. and beetles, and they've got all sorts. Of, yes. You know. And uh, uh, he said that um, he nowadays drink it every now and then, couple of days, three days. He yeah. stopped doing it every day. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, he's, he's doing well. And, and this was a prophetic. Yeah. Uh, uh, a remedy given by the Prophet himself this is mentioned in the Sunnah yes in Sahih Bukhari Muslim mm. to a group of newly reverted Muslims who came to Medina and fell sick so the Prophet told them to get out of the borders of Medina mm. 
and go to the uh, 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 area where they collect the camels for sadaqah, for charity, for zakat, yeah. and to drink from the urine and from the milk. Yeah, and Allah. in no time they got well, alhamdulillah. You know, this is the thing, you know, sometimes uh, people try to use these things against Islam. You know, oh, you're in uh, this hadith, it's about drinking camel urine, just because it doesn't sound right. By the way, if you go to India, yeah. where the population oh. is almost a billion, yeah. it is a normal practice yeah. to add cow's urine yeah. to their food, not to yeah. their medicine, to their food as a delicacy yeah. and some uh, get treated with it, some wash with it. Yeah. So, I mean, in Islam, we, we, Islam, we have yeah. revelation from the Prophet yeah. Islam, to tell us that this is part of the religion. Yeah. So no one... For uh, camel specifically. Yes, specifically. correct. SubhanAllah. You know, a lot of the times, you know, the point is that when we know it is from the Quran and the Sunnah, you know, we should obey. You know, we hear and we obey, we submit to it. And, and not only that, Akhi, if you don't want to, yeah. it's up to you. Nobody's yeah. forcing you to yeah. drink it. But the option is there. Yeah. So, again, when people criticize, yeah. you have all the right to criticize yeah. whatever you don't like. But to be fair, look at the other aspects of Islam yeah. and compare apple to apple the pros and cons mm. weigh them so mm. if you tell me that mm, okay I looked into Islam and I found that 98% of it is excellent perfect mm. logical but there are these 2% that do not go down well my throat yeah. so I said okay yeah, like so, so that's, okay, that's okay with me if 98 is okay with you this means that the two two percent that you are uh, uh, unable to digest mm. this is not because they're wrong mm. this is because your thinking process is wrong yeah. and you should know that if 98 percent nothing on earth is 98 yeah. percent uh, uh, a false proof and excellent except yeah. islam yeah, so, um, 